Hello and welcome back to the Medic Trust plugin. This is Nathan Wilkerson and today I just wanted to uh, show you guys a new little uh, feature that I've added to the Medic tools. Well actually another tool I guess. Um, <clears throat> so we basically have uh, these different trim and extend tools and today I went ahead and added a miter tool. Uh, I thought that might be handy for some of you guys. And basically, this miter tool will uh, miter extend or miter cut, even though it is called a miter cut. Um, and so we will demonstrate that. But the main thing I want to show you guys first off is I've just created a couple, you know, kind of random solids here. Um, and you can see that they're obviously dissimilar solids. They're not uh, the same width or height or anything. And they will, however, be able to use the miter uh, cut feature with them. So the main thing I need to show you is that in order to use this operation, you first need to pick a face that you want to extend and then a face of another uh, body that you want to extend. And then you need to pick a couple edges that will uh, intersect to a point. And it doesn't matter even if these edges are on the bodies that are going to be extended the, uh, really the only uh, key thing to remember is that they need to intersect at a point so if I were to inter select this edge here and this edge here um, you can see that they will not intersect and so that those two edges will not work but these two edges just so happens that they do intersect and so they will work so let's go ahead and give this a shot so first things first uh, select the tool we select our first face that we want to extend. Then we select our second face that we want to extend. Now we need to select the edges. And it doesn't matter if I select this edge, and then this edge, or this edge, and then this edge. Um, either way, it, it, all it needs to know is that those edges intersect, and then it will figure out the mitering plane from there. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then once you select it, it fir first is yellow for the first edge, and then it will turn blue for the next edge. And if it doesn't, um, you know, it, sometimes it's hard to click on these edges. So if it doesn't, you know, work on the first click, try it again um, and until it works. Because sometimes it maybe takes a couple clicks to you know, get your cursor right on that edge. So and in that case, it did. So you can see that w basically we've uh, mitered those two solids and brought them together. And it ca basically it bisected this angle, this line and this line here creates creates the mitering plane. And then if you like, um, so hit space. Um, <clears throat> if you want to undo the miter separately, you can do that. So I basically I'm mitering the member two, and then I, you know then you can undo miter member one. So you know if you want to for whatever reason back up. But don't want to, you know, unmiter the first one. Then you can always back up and unmiter just one, or both. So it just kind of gives you that option. All right, so that's uh, that. And uh, let's go ahead and demonstrate. Of course, these two happen to be orthogonal, uh, you know, an orthogonal situation here. Let's go ahead and look at um, a situation that we don't have an orth orthogonal angle. So here we go. We've got a couple beams. Um, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here. It's sometimes hard with my mouse. I need to get a space mouse. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we got a couple little uh, timber beams, I guess. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and select the first face, select the second face. Now, as it turns out, these happen to be the same size. So whether I if I were to select that edge and that edge, um, that would work great. And or I could select that edge and that edge. Or I could have probably just like the inside edges, um, because it just so happens that these are exactly the same uh, size. But let's just go ahead and select that edge. And it didn't select, so we hit it again. Okay, now it turned blue, and we'll go ahead and select this one. Okay, and there you go. And if we click in on this one, we can see that this is a solid, and we can see that this is a solid. So they're both still solids. And I'm going to just go ahead and pull these apart here for a second so we can uh, kind of check what's happened here. So basically, since the we're basically what we're doing is we're using the extend f feature um, on both uh, solids once we've determined our plane. And so just like the extend uh, tool, you are retaining your um, 
you know, you're retaining basically all the properties with the face that you're extending or mitering, sorry. Okay, so that's uh, a non-orthogonal uh, miter. Now let's go here and take a look at a situation where we've got a couple, um, you know, interesting shapes, more, a little more complicated. And we're going to go ahead and try to miter this guy now. So go ahead again and select this face. And go ahead and select this face. Okay, and now, and just sometimes these are lining up in the z axis, so we know that uh, this line here should coincide with this line here. So let's go ahead and select that line. And we'll go ahead and select this line, or this edge, sorry. Okay. And you see what happened there, and What's happened is, uh, I mean, it mitered it, but it, it, it cut the miter um, not as we expected. And the reason for that is because our pick point um, on the edge was out here somewhere. So if we want um, this to miter like we, th we think, we need to have our pick point back beyond uh, the intersection point. So let's demonstrate that. So we'll go ahead one more time, select these two faces. And we'll select back here now. Okay, and we'll select back here. And I wish I could show you that as we do it, so let's pop that around. Okay, there we go. So now we got it uh, doing what we want it to do. And there you have it. And that is a mitered corner for a HSS. <coughs> hollow structural tube there and and as you can see these are a solid group and are a solid group as well so let's uh, redo that one one more time just to just to uh, back that up under miter under miter under miter okay so, like I said, what happened is, is when we selected this point on this edge back here, and then we selected this point here, it basically found the plane that was running this direction rather than this direction. So, let's try that one more time, just to show you. Uh, this time we're going to go ahead and grab there. Okay, and grab our face again. Now, we know that it, once they intersect, it's going to be you know somewhere here. So we want to grab a point back here and a point back here on the intersecting lines. So oh, grab that point. Sometimes it's hard when the mouse isn't working so well. Okay, there we go. And we'll grab it back here. Okay. And done. So really it's very simple to use. Um, you know, I, again, this is yet another new tool, so sometimes there's some situation or state that's possible that I haven't foreseen, but uh, so far, so good. Anyways, if you have any questions on it, uh, let me know, but I will go ahead and roll this out into the next uh, uh, release. I think well, this will be 2.2.6. If you have any questions, give me a holler or send me an email, and I always appreciate you guys' support, so thank you very much.